Hi guys, it's Claire. I'm back with a um, scrapbook process video for you today. Um, and I'm inspired by this layout that's been made by the very talented Jen Shao. I think that's how you say your surname, Jen. I'm sorry if it's wrong. Um, so yeah, if you head over to her website, you'll be able to see the layout that she created. And then I'm just inspired by or using the same layout as that. The two collections I've pulled out to play with are the um, Simple Stories Let's Party, which is that brightly coloured one you've just seen. And then this one is the My Mind's Eye Jubilee, I think it was the Tangerine collection, Jubilee Tangerine. Um, it's a bit of an older collection, but I really like the blues in there. And I want to use that blue stripe because it goes well with my nephew's um, shirt in the photos that I'm using. So I've got a piece of white cardstock there, which I've trimmed down slightly. So I use that blue stripe as a border. And I'm now going to just um, gut out the middle just to save some of that in case I want to use it a bit later on in the layout. So I'm just cutting out the middle of that there. It's always good to do this. You never know. You might want to just add a bit of that stripe further on. You don't want to have had it have it all stuck behind your piece of white cardstock. So I always do this. So just save that piece and then stick my white piece on top. Now I'm going to stick that on just a tiny bit of scotch because I know that I want to do some stitching around the edge of here. So I'm just using tiny little dots of scotch tape there. OK, now I start flicking through the paper pad um, and I want to use this bright yellow. I want my pop of colour to be yellow. I also end up including orange at the end as well. You'll see that a bit later on. But at the minute I know that I want the blue, white and the yellow. So I've pulled out two pieces of that star paper. This is another piece back from the Jubilee collection, which I really like because it's got the navy, the white, the orange and the yellow. So it ties everything together. So I flick through the collection trying to find a bigger piece of it. I, I'm worried that I've only got that one strip left. So I'm literally flicking through and I'm quite relieved when I find a, a bigger piece left. This is getting to the end of this kit. So there's not, you know, all my favourite pieces have been used up already. I also pull out that piece with all the coloured diamonds on there. I think that I might use that because that also would pull out the, the yellow and the orange. But I, I, I stay with this dotty piece. So I've cut my other little photo in half there. So I've now got my three photos. And I'm just sort of deciding where I want them, whether I want them to be straight or slightly angled or, or what I want, really. And these are quite fun photos. They were taken on a, a day out not so long ago. We went out for a picnic and then ended up catching grasshoppers. Um, we didn't have a proper grasshopper container, so we used our juice bottle um, to put our little grasshoppers in. And we were having a bit of fun. It was it was all of us there. There was five of us, me, Shani and the kids. Um, so my nieces and nephew and yeah, had a picnic and then started catching grasshoppers, which they'd never done before. So it was great fun watching them running around trying to catch these little grasshoppers as they were hopping everywhere. Um, so yeah, good, good fun day out. Anyway, so I'm still faffing around deciding where I want everything to go. And now I pull in a piece, another piece from the Simple Stories pad. So it's the orange that I pull in um, and I put to one side for a minute. And I know that I want to back my photos. So I'm flicking through, seeing if I want to back them with a patterned piece. I try that wood green grain piece, but don't use it. And I end up deciding just to back them in white. So I grab another piece of my cardstock and just back those and give them a tiny little white border. And the quality of these photos isn't brilliant because they were only taken on my phone, so they're not the best photos, but but they look OK. OK, so that's all them all stuck down and head over to the guillotine to to trim them all up. OK, and again, I'm flicking through. For that piece I said to you that I want another piece I end up pulling the orange piece there and I'm flicking through for that. So I've trimmed it down just big enough so that it goes behind those photos and doesn't overtake the whole yellow piece but just works as a complementary piece on there.
Okay, now I'm deciding if I want that tucked behind the main photo or if I want it layered in front. Um, just sort of playing around until I'm happy with what it looks like. And when I am, I start to stick everything down. So I stick my orange onto my yellow. And again, I'm not using much tape because I know that I'm going to stitch everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing the other side. Checking that they're about even. Then I pull out my T-square ruler, which I use to make sure that they're stuck at the same height. And I'm not, this doesn't have to be too precise. I'm not actually measuring as such. I'm just making sure things look straight. So I'm not using the measurements on the ruler at all. I'm literally just using it as a guideline. OK, now I'm just about happy with that. I do decide to trim that dotty piece down just a little bit more because it's a bit, bit too big. So I take a tiny bit off of that and then flat stick that. And then I head on over to my sewing machine and I've stitched around everything. So I've stitched all the way around the piece of white, all the way around every single piece. You can see on the back there, there's quite a lot of rows of stitching. I just neaten all that up and then grab some washi tape. Um, to stop those ends from fraying. Again, my stitching isn't perfect. I don't I don't want it to be. I want it to look a little bit handmade and a little bit messy. I did think about putting some zigzags on this as well, but I left it all just straight stitch. But yeah, it's certainly not perfect. It's sort of a messy straight stitch. Okay, so there you go. So I pop the tape around there and then I'm going to just ruffle up the edges just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, just pull them up to give it a little bit of dimension. I go around all the pieces like that just to make those edges pop up a little bit. This is something, again, that I see Jen do a lot. It looks really good. It just adds a little bit of lift to that paper. So there you go. So now I start sticking my photos down. And I do decide to have them a little bit wonky, not not perfectly straight, just tilted slightly those side ones. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm certainly not measuring. I'm just popping it in where it looks right to me. OK, now I've pulled out a few embellishments that I think I want to use from this Stim Simple Stories sticker sheet. There's these two circles that I like, the orange star and the yellow heart. So I pop them down in place. And then there's a little arrow, um, I think it says Yippee on it, which I pull off the sticker sheet and try and use, but but don't end up using it, pop it back. I do come back to that again later. I still don't use it on the final layout, but I come back and try again. This is a little cut, cut apart that was in the six by six pad. It says, I think it says today is a good day. And I decide that I want to use that on there. This also doesn't make it onto the layout. I, I really like it and I like what it says, but it just doesn't end up having space on the layout. Now I've gone over to my printer or laptop and I've printed out my journaling, which I'm now just cutting up. Um, and make it into little strips. Again, I got this from Jen. I, I really like Jen's work and I'm inspired by it, by it all the time. Excuse me, sorry. But yeah, another thing that I got from J Jen is, is typing up your, your journaling and cutting it down into strips. I really like that. And then pulling off that, decide if I want it anywhere else, because I realise that by putting it at the top, I've lost my space where I want my title to go. So I pull that off and decide that it's just it's not going to make it on here. There's a tiny little bit of adhesive that gets left behind. So I find my adhesive remover and just take that off so it's all nice and clean. OK, so just sticking down my journaling.
And again, I know I keep saying this over and over again, but these aren't too straight. I'm not measuring everything and I'm not making sure they're perfect. I want them to look a little bit, you know, not perfect on there. My journaling, actually, it says we had a whole lot of fun today, a picnic over the fields, followed by a grasshopper hunt. And who was the best grasshopper catcher of all? Auntie Claire, of course. Um, it was quite funny at the time. We, as I say, we had lots of laughs taking these photos. The kids had never caught grasshoppers before, so they were really enjoying it and jumping around doing it. And we were the whole time we were catching grasshoppers, we were shouting out, oh, grasshopper, you know, in a silly accent and just having a lot of fun with these. And I caught more grasshoppers than anyone else. So we were joking about who, you know, who was the best catcher and, and that sort of thing. But yeah, so it was a really fun day. Anyway, so I'm rummaging through my stickers now, deciding what I want to do for the title. And I decide on these thin Amy Trap Tangerine ones. And I'm sticking them down onto a piece of acetate there. It's hard to see that on camera, but there's a piece of acetate that I'm sticking them down onto so that I can move that around or just decide what the position will be. OK, sorry about that. That was just a knock at the door. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm sticking those thickers down to a piece of acetate so that I can move them around um, and decide where I want them on the layout. Well, now these are being a little bit of a pain to peel off as I'm trying to lift them off of the sheet there. Some of them are sticking and not playing nicely, so I have to be a little bit gentle and a bit patient with them. But I finally get them all off and then stuck down where I want them. Okay, I know that it's going to go up the top there. I just don't know if I want it to sit on the dotty paper or above. And I did decide that above on just on the white looks nice or nicer. So I, I peel those off and stick them on there. Sorry, I suppose I should have sped you up through this bit. It's a little bit boring for you to watch. But yeah, just sticking those thickers down. And these are really nice thickers. As I say, they're Amy Tangerine. Um, I'm just going to dig them out so you can, I can tell you what they're called. They're called Everyday. So Everyday in craft colour. Just a nice thicker. What I like about them is that they're nice and skinny, so they you can fit quite a lot of letters into not too much space. And they work out just perfectly up there. OK, again, I try and get that today was a good day on there, but now obviously it's got nowhere to go and I don't want to mess up the balance of the layout. I decide that I want these circles to be a little bit popped up, so I just peel them off carefully and add a dimensional behind them. They're stamping up dimensionals. Any bit of foam would work, but they were a good size to go in the middle of those circles. And then I get another one off the sticker sheet in the nice teal colour. And this one says, oh, yeah. So it works perfectly at the bottom of the of my fun journaling about how good I was as a as a grasshopper catcher. And I did pick up that little yippy arrow again and I try and make that work. But again, it's just looking a bit unbalanced. I haven't got anything else to go with it. So I decide not to pop it anywhere. I do try it in a few places first, though. And let's see, I even stick it up there, but then decide I don't like it and then peel it off. I think that's what scrapbooking is all about, just trialling everything and seeing, you know, giving it a go until you, you find what you like and find what, what, what you think looks nice. So I give up on that sticker and then go back to the Jubilee collection and I've got these brads. These are really, really lovely brads actually. They're almost like big enamel dots, but with a, you know, the silver rim around them. They're a really lovely brad. Um, so I poke some holes and pierce a few of those in. At first I put in one that's the teal colour, but I actually don't like that and I end up taking it out and going for um, a yellow one. And then at the top I put another one up there, which is the navy blue. And then I decide I'll have another couple. I like my little groups of three. So I've got, you know, the, the circle sticker and then two brads in each little grouping there. So I do an orange one at the top and I go down and I add another blue one at the bottom.
Okay, and then this layout's almost done. But what I do pull in at the very end is um, I grab a couple of Heidi Swap um, roller stamps and some VersaFine ink. I've got one that just gives me the date there, so I stamp on the date of when these photos were taken. Stamp that right down the bottom. I'm just testing it on a bit of scrap white there. And then the other little stamp has some nice little sayings on there. So I stamp a few of those around the layout. I've got you're awesome. Um, this was rad, the best and happy place. So I just go around the page stamping those sort of in a couple of corners and on, on the edge as well. And with that sort of messy type stamping, which I'm not 100% sure if I like that sort of stamping once and then stamping again. But I was I was brave and I done it and it, it looks OK, but I'm still not 100 percent sold on that. And that's it. After that, I'm calling this layout done. Um, there's some photos just about to come up for you so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, it's a fun layout to make. And yeah, I really love Jen's style. And this is, an, you know, it's really inspired by her, not just the layout, but the, the journaling and, and everything. So thank you, Jen, for great inspiration and um, hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.